All right, so today I wanted to go over the voltage divider rule. And what the voltage divider rule lets us do is it lets us find the voltage across a resistor without having to find the current first. And what the voltage divider rule says is that the voltage across a resistor in a series circuit is equal to the value of that resistor times the total applied voltage divided by the total resistance of the series configuration. So we need to use this with resistors that are in series. That's the, that's the first rule. We can't use them in we can't use this rule in parallel circuits. So it needs to be used in series. And so essentially what we're doing here is we're to find the voltage of an, across an element, we're going to take the resistance of that element times the quotient of the total voltage divided by the total resistance. So we can see based on this formula that first of all, we're going to need the total resistance. We don't have that yet. We've got a 6 ohm resistor here, we've got a 2 ohm resistor here. And we've got a voltage, some voltage drop that's unknown that we're solving for. We've got a voltage drop across V1 over R1, and we've got a voltage drop V2 over R2. So the first thing we're going to need is we're going to need the total resistance. So as we know, series for series resistors, RT, sorry, RT is just going to be straight adding. So it's going to be R1 plus R2, which is 6 ohms plus 2 ohms, which is 8 ohms. Oops, 8 ohms. So now we can go ahead and solve for these individual voltages. So if we were asked to solve for V1, the voltage drop across resistor 1, what we would do is we would say V1 equals the resistance of resistor 1, which is 6 ohms, times the quotient of our source voltage, which is 36 volts, divided by the total resistance, which we just solved for, which is 8 ohms. And we're going to get that to be 27 volts. So what that's telling us is that the voltage drop as we go as the as the current travels through this resistor the difference in potential energy across the two terminals of this resistor the voltage drop is 27 volts. So if we want to do the same thing for V2 we'll just say V2 equals the resistance of R2 which is 2 ohms times source voltage is still just 36 volts divided by 8 ohms and we should get that equal to 9 volts so again what that's saying is that the voltage drop across this resistor is 9 volts so now what we can do is we can we can apply Kirchhoff's voltage law around this loop and make sure that it equals zero. So if we start at this at this node here, this red node, we're going to go up 36 volts because we're going from low to high potential. So we're going up 36 volts. Then we go around, we're going to go down because we're going from positive to negative. Down, V1 was 27 volts. Then we're going to go down 9 volts. So we will get 36 volts minus 27 volts minus 9 volts equals 0. And that is true. It does equal 0, so Kirchhoff's voltage law holds true. So as a way to double check ourselves, we know that, that our work is correct. So that's a way to solve for voltage without knowing the current first, the voltage divider rule, and I hope it's helpful.